Step 2, Modeling. Activate the 4.2 Modeling Steps preset view from the Navigator view map. We are going to model every door component on the floor plan using only the slab tool. Once a door or window is inserted into a wall, the default position of these library parts coordinate system is rotated so that the XY plane is vertical and the Z axis points horizontally into the wall. The origin is placed on the bottom center of the wall opening on the exterior side of the wall. This way, doors or windows can be easily modeled by elements in the XY plane. Activate the 4.3 Model the Door Frame preset view in the Navigator. We'll start modeling with the door frame. The active view set shows only the contours of the frame to allow the easy use of the magic wand. Open the slab tool and click on the favorites button. Select door frame from the list and click apply. The required slab parameters are set so that we can model the door frame element. Click OK on the slab default setting dialog box to return to the floor plan. Move the cursor over the door frame's polygon and hold down on the space button on the keyboard to activate the magic wand function. The cursor's shape changes to a magic wand, indicating that ARCHICAD will automatically trace the contours of the clicked element. Click with the mouse. Let's continue the modeling with the door leaf. Activate the 4.4 Model the Door Panel preset view in the Navigator. The floor plan shows the 2D outlines of the door leaf. Open the slab tool and click on the favorites button. Select door panel from the list and click apply. The required slab parameter values are set so that you can create the door leaf. Click OK on the slab default setting dialog box to return to the floor plan. Activate the magic wand, press the space button, and click on the external contour of the door panel. Hold down the shift key and select the slab with a click of the mouse. Make sure that the slab tool is still active. Activate the magic wand and click on the glazing's contour. Deselect the slab. The hole for the glazing is cut from the slab. Open the slab tool again and click on the favorites button. Select glazing from the list and click apply. Click OK on the slab default setting dialog box to return to the floor plan. Activate the 4.5 Model the Window Grills preset view in the Navigator. The floor plan shows the contours of the prairie style window grills. Open the Slab tool and click on the Favorites button. Select Window Grill from the list and click Apply. The required slab setting values are applied, so now we can start modeling the window grills. Click OK on the Slab Default Setting dialog box to return to the floor plan. Click with the magic wand on the exterior contour. Then select the slab and click again with the magic wand on the interior contour to create the hole in the slab. Now we are finished with the door modeling, so let's save the GDL door object.